Here in Yaoundé, Cameroon's capital, traders are selling a seasonal delicacy, live palm weevil beetle larvae. And Steve Abada is delighted his favorite healthy snack is back at the market. I eat insects like this because they provide nutrition, they nourish the body, they're not too fatty, but have a lot of good ingredients. If you eat this all the time, you rarely get sick. Insects in this area are widely eaten. They're packed with protein, vitamins, fiber and minerals, vital for keeping the old and young alike healthy. And it's not only their contribution to the local diet that's important, they're also a great source of income. Here in the forests surrounding the remote village of Zeng, it's grasshopper season. Philomen Enama, a mother of seven, collects grasshoppers along with other women from the village. Some of them she cooks to feed her family. The rest she takes to market for sale. Insects are good because when we no longer have produce in our fields, they give us a means to live as we prepare the insects to eat. And also when we can sell them, they really provide for us. In the height of the season, one woman can collect as many as four water bottles full of grasshoppers a day, which can be sold for around 20 US dollars. But what was once considered an inexhaustible resource is now under threat. Unsustainable logging in this area has led to forest fires and habit degradation, bringing some species to the brink of extinction. The insect population must be protected, says Afton Halloran, a consultant at the Edible Insect Program at the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO. Insects have a huge potential for both feed and food. We're already seeing developments in terms of using insects as animal feed and also being incorporated onto menus and into processed foods. While we won't be seeing insects on the table of a Sunday lunch anytime within the next decade, we know that insects have a huge potential and we hope that slowly but surely this can be realized. Population growth is contributing to a growing global demand for protein. And though many may still see bugs as belonging in the forest rather than a feast, it's hoped that insects will start to be considered a viable supplement to human diets, not only here in Central Africa, but in many other parts of the world.